he's on scene. Uh, we can already see some smoke and fire coming from the building. What I went through was uh, basically just a train, hearing the sounds of the crackling, putting out the fire with the water or foam, feeling a lot of heat because, you know, it's hot and there's gear. So virtual reality is the future of JCPS, and that future is here right now. At Fairdale and obviously here at Fern Creek, uh, students are training in virtual reality scenarios the same way that professionals across the country are doing it. This VR, as the chief said, gives us an opportunity to put students in what would be traditionally a very dangerous environment into a realistic environment and let them learn about communications, uh, let them make mistakes, uh, change scenarios, um, let them experience things that we experience on the fire ground. The VR system has given us a mental and physical feeling of how to mitigate fires it has allowed us to get a feel for how to make decisive decisions, how to be quick on our feet, and it overall instills confidence in how to solve issues that are handed in our way. There's no way to replicate the experience of going into a burning building, the heat, the smoke, the unknowns, but we've built a safe environment for the students to train here. And because it's VR and the way this system is set up, we can transition the students in and out of the system very quickly and they get more hands-on training than if we were doing this in a traditional way like we do out at the fire academy. I really enjoyed this program because it gives you a really hands-on and interactive experience. It also gives you the opportunity to interact with firefighters firsthand and learn about what they do on a daily basis. One of the exciting things about this program is the opportunity that these students will have coming out of school with training to be able to plug into a volunteer combination organization and start that career path without any hesitation. When students graduate, they can immediately come across the street or at other agencies uh, surrounding us and get on an ambulance and provide that continued care and support that we just were not able to get outside of here.